So ladies, I have another, well, not really a devotion for you here. This is more of a rant, and this comes to you in the form of me reading a letter to the editor that I wrote really just a few days ago. It hasn't been published yet, but I did send it in to our local newspaper here in the San Luis Valley. I don't know if they'll publish it, but I figured that I, I would provide this for some of my listeners on a father's devotions. This isn't usually what I do. Also thought I would post this to my audio stuff. That's my other YouTube site. Then, of course, that'll appear on Rumble and all of that. But this is titled Civilized Warfare. Nobody wants to fight World War III. But I'm afraid that is what it will take to make the world safe for the United States, Israel, and Western democracy in general. Like it or not, Israel was recently violated in an incomprehensible way by Hamas. And what is so surprising is that Israel appears reluctant to take the action necessary in neutralizing the enemy. All the while, Hamas and its sponsors are able to dig in and further perfect their strategies, making their expulsion even more precarious. It appears that those in our government don't want to face the immovable and costly reality that much of the strategy behind Israel's violent rape are found not just in Iran, but in China and Russia as well. And this brings us to the subject of war. Civilized warfare, which is the way Israel is now being pressured to fight, is something only given to us in classrooms and by disconnected idealists who are far removed from the battlefield. The whole notion that war can be fought in a civilized fashion is, to put it bluntly, absurd. When men forcefully enter your home and threaten to assault your family, you're going to use whatever means necessary to render such individuals incapacitated. The ugly truth is that there are no rules of combat in defense of your family, nor should there be in the broader scope of a country that faces possible annihilation such as Israel, as the rules of combat are never used by the aggressor. The bottom line is that America and the West are likely going to have to fight an uncivilized war with all the horror and damage that will come from it if we are to have any chance of maintaining our civilized democratic societies. Yes, you heard me right. And yes, innocent people are going to be killed, and the lives of many who will be fighting this war will be permanently wrecked just as they were in World War II. This will be the price that America and the Western world will likely pay if they're going to have any chance of preserving their free societies. And we will pay this price because of our willful abandonment of peace through strength some 30 years ago by those who refuse even now to see what's clearly coming. Whether this letter finds publication, I do not know. But it is imperative that Americans, including those in the San Luis Valley, fully understand what likely lies ahead. If we choose to stand down and allow the enemy to remain intact, there is a chance of eventual captivity coming to Americans. If we choose to fight and contain or eliminate these threats, we may have a chance of retaining our sovereignty and free society. One is better than the other, but both will be unimaginably costly.